hello. Good morning, guys. It's, uh... <sighs> hair <laughs> everywhere. It is the 28th of October. Um, I'm going to start a new vlog now um, because today is going to be awesome. Um, not only <sighs> am I going to possibly finish a book today, which is Verity by Colleen Hoover. It's, it's in the other room. So, Verity. <laughs> Everyone knows the cover. Did you see the special edition, too? Yeah. I'll put a picture of the special edition right here. It looks pretty. I touched it yesterday. I was like, do I really, do I really need that? Am I that type of person? No, I haven't even finished it. We don't need to do that. Okay, so... The plan is, I haven't uploaded in, a, in about eight days, and I'm like halfway through a video, so I need to finish that video. Um, I also want to come up with a uploading plan and uploading schedule of some sort. I don't, I don't know yet. I might put something up on that YouTube community thing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, also, I need to plan out some videos for November. I kind of want to make it like, um, I don't know. I have a couple left. I have three books left of what I wanted to read, you know, that I picked out for my TBR. Um, which is awesome. Uh, cause we read, let's see, one, two, three. If I finish Verity by the end of the month, there'll be four books I finished in October, which is phenomenal for me. So my focus, I think for November is going to be Cozy Mysteries. I want to continue reading books in the Hannah Swenson series. I think I'm on book eight, maybe, I don't know. Um, also want to read this. I know this is not cozy mystery, but, um, like I said about this before, it was on my, uh, Goodreads. It's been on there for a while. I started reading it. I hadn't finished it because I put it down and read something else. So I want to do that. I do want to read one academia book, dark academia book. It'll be The Maidens. So, um, those are kind of three that I know for sure that I want to read. And then I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to bust out the TBR jar. Um, but this will all be in a video. So, um, yeah, look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, also today, um, you'll be seeing, I have green nails. You have saw this in my, uh, my green nails in the, uh, what's that video called? <laughs> When I did the uh, um, Etsy date with the book mystery one, which is the video that I'm actually working on, um, my nails are green because I have some really cool Halloween things coming up. Today, I'm actually participating in a flash mob, a zombie flash mob. So um, <laughs> I have to put some zombie makeup on today and make myself look like a zombie. And then we're going to do thriller. It's going to be fun. Um... Um, I'll I'll try to have Don film this if we can and uh, yeah so we got quite a lot to do I have to meet everyone at the studio at I think five ish like five o'clock ish sometime um and uh, yeah it's gonna be interesting so here we go we gotta get we gotta get a video up because it's been it's been too long okay so it is. It's 2.15. I'm about to enter into zombie mode. I gotta wash my face and make sure it's uh, looking good and fresh and protected from all the stuff that's about to be put on my face. But I did, in fact, finish Verity. And oh, oh my god. Um, I've never read a Colleen Hoover book until this moment. And holy guacamole. I don't even like guacamole. It's besides the point. What a freaking 
what a whirlwind of a book. What a whirlwind of a book. And you leave the book, if you guys read this before, you finish the book going, wait, what's what's real and what's not real? It has an ending similar, but I'm going to say not as good, not, not better than Bunny. Like, Bunny, when you finish reading Bunny, which I talk about this book to death because I absolutely loved it. Bunny left you with this, um, this thought of, well, did this all really happen? Like, what, Verity kind of does the same thing. Um, you're kind of reading these things that Verity has left, and then you're like, wait, what is, what is the truth? What really happened? Like, your brain thinks one thing, and then if you've read the book, the ending part, the, um, the letter she finds, uh, you're left going, wait, so was everything in that manuscript, was it real, or is she trying to cover herself? It, y'all, y'all, <laughs> but yeah, I really like this, um, I, yeah, Colleen Hoover needs to write more of books like this, because, I don't know. It was really good. I've never read any other Colleen Hoover books before. I know hers are more like romance books. So if there's one that you think I would like, let me know. Uh, cause yeah, I was hooked with this, but I, I liked this a lot. I think this was very creepy and I really am just sitting here going, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is book 19 out of 22. We're almost there guys. I have to read three more. Um, I'm thinking the next book I'm going to read, just because this has been sitting on my Goodreads thing for so long, is I'm going to read this, which is The House of a Hundred Whispers. This is kind of your classic um, uh, spooky haunted house story. Um, and yeah, I think this will be a good book to round out the October season, because as I'm as I'm filming, there's only three days left in October, which means three days till Halloween. Um, and yeah. Wow. Okay. I gotta go put zombie makeup on, because I literally need to leave the house in, like, two hours. Like, two hours and 15 minutes. I don't have my outfit put together. I know what I want to wear. I just don't know where in my closet it is. I should have been uh, preparing that all day, but I've been reading, so there's that. All right, so let me show you what we have going on here. I, I literally, my kitchen table is a hot mess because I did try to play with some things the other day just to kind of remind me of how I did this stuff. Um, my table's a mess. Just bear with me. So here we go. I'm going to turn it around. All right, this is what we have going. My trusty glue stick, which is great for, you know, putting your eyebrows down. Uh, we have some bloody scab. We have liquid latex. I didn't remember how many I have, so I actually have three bottles of liquid latex. Like, do you see that? Like, that's kind of what we're going for. Um, I have some sculpting wax, which is really fun. Uh, I have some blood gel. I have this stack right here, which is supposed to make it seem very, um, what's the word? Like a, like a bruise, if you will. I have this stuff, which is like a gray powder. Of course, I have these little things right here, which is great when you're using liquid latex. I do use this Jeffree Star palette right here because the colors for making a zombie, if I can open it, there's a lot of nice zombie colors in there. Um, I also have, this is great corpse makeup. Um, this is a molding putty too, in case I want to create some really interesting crevices. This, I won't be using, this is 3D gel. This stuff is fun. It kind of makes your face look, um, like it's, 
liquefying off your face <laughs> is the best way I can describe it. Um, I have a white crayon for some reason. I don't know why. I have all my makeup brushes right here. We have some wipes. I have my mirror. I have some Q-tips to, I don't know, apply some of the blood. And then I have my normal pack of makeup because, you know, black eyeliner and stuff. Um, so every year is different that I've done this because I just, I don't know, I slap the crap on and <laughs> call it a day. Um, so I'm going to probably put on some YouTube and I will probably not, I'll maybe update, you know, a little bit, but, um, I really just want to sit here and watch some YouTube and get it done because <laughs> kind of leave in like an hour and a half. So, yeah, we're going to start it. I, I also, like, very important, make sure your face is clean. The night before, I really made sure that I washed my face really good and I put on some moisturizing stuff for my face um, just to prepare it. Um, I drank some water today to make sure my skin's nice and plump. Take care of your skin because this is a lot of crap that's going on your skin if you go and do this. And uh, be prepared to uh, make sure you have the time to take it off because it takes a long time. Oh, I have this too. I forgot this. This was, uh, this is liquid makeup. It's white liquid makeup, but I don't know if I'm going to use that yet. I got all this stuff at Spirit. I do have some more scab stuff. I got this all at Spirit Halloween. The guy's like, do you know what you're doing? And yeah, I do. I've watched a ton of tutorials on how to do this. This is like the third or fourth time I've done this makeup. So, yeah, here we go. All right, this is, oh, I got to put more on this side. <laughs> so this is kind of the zombie look. I need to add the blood still, but here it is. Here it is in all of its nasty, scabby glory, if you will. So there it is. I still have to do, <laughs> I have to do this side right here. But there it is. There it is. And then I'll put some like hairspray in my hair, make it crunchy and crazy and wild. And uh, I have an itch already. And yeah, I'll put some probably black lipstick on too. Or I have gray as well. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But this is the look. Now I just have to find my outfits and put the blood on. Because the blood, the blood makes it, man. The blood makes it. Adventures of Zombies. Am I getting a picture? I'm trying to record. Somebody brought the powder. I should have bought some powder. No, we did go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. We're in downtown Albion. Oh, it's a video? Ah, don't do that! Margie! I'm tender in that spot. <laughs> Oh, no. It's a video. Yeah, like, oh, nah. <laughs> 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 we like video. We love video. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that you guys have teeth again. Why'd you catch my back? <laughs> You're trying to get a cheap one. Oh, so yeah. 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 Michael's looking good. Say that again. Say that again, Michelle. Put the powder in there. Put the powder where? In there. In where? Yeah. <laughs> you look funny in the phone. You look cool there, but in the phone it's funny because it doesn't have all of you. Is Bruce coming? Oh, <laughs> we're still taking a video. Hello friends, what is up? Um, so I just have a little bit of time before I need to get ready. I worked this morning. Um, I hope you enjoyed the zombie stuff because that was so much fun. You can see I still have makeup on from yesterday. Like I could not, could not get it off. Couldn't get it all off. Um, if you're wondering about this eyeliner, this eyeliner is actually Urban Decay. It's like black market or something like that. Urban Decay is like the best. Like I, I, I scrubbed this and it's not coming off. Um, so I have a little bit of time, maybe like 10, 15 minutes before I need to get ready because today we are headed to sodas for my nephew's um, racing banquet. It's going to be so cute. Um, super excited about that. Uh, so I'm going to read a chapter or two in The House of a Hundred Whispers. I read the first two chapters. So the beginning of the chapter, you know, we got this guy who is killed by this mystery man in this mansion. And um, I'm guessing we're going to find out we're going to try to find out who this mystery man is and um yeah so uh then the the guy who's killed his son gets called there's a scene where the son gets called and told about his death but the son is just like well he wasn't that great of a guy you know i guess we are gonna have to go there i'm gonna have to go and meet up with my siblings at this place you kind of get this feeling like he doesn't want to do it and uh, it's just kind of going to be more of a burden. So that's where I'm at. This is like the first two chapters. So I'm going to read a little bit and then I need to get ready. Because, you know, little man's getting a trophy today. We're so excited. At least I think he's getting a trophy. Um, when I was a kid, we raced at this same racetrack and... Uh, we got trophies, so I also feel like when I was a kid and we raced and you like won a race or you finished a race, you got a ribbon and my nephew's been getting like medals, which was way cooler than the ribbons. So have we upgraded and now they're going to, I I don't know, we're going to see. So, um, but yeah, it'll be fun, a good, you know, way to celebrate Bubby finishing his first race season and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna read a chapter and I'm gonna get ready.
Okay, hold on. I needed to share this. <laughs> this is how much this guy is not liked. There's literally a sign. Excuse my fan. There's literally this little boy. It says, uh, Timmy opened his eyes, yawned, and then peered out of the window with a frown. Oh, it's grandpa's house. I thought you said he was dead. <laughs> he is, but we had to come here to decide what we're going to do with this house. <laughs> Just like, oh, we're at grandpa's house. I thought he was dead. I feel like I have that. That's like what Bubby would say. Like, kids are so, like, matter of fact. Like, you told me this. What are we doing? You know? I don't know. Anyways, let me keep reading. In fifth place, we have David Ferguson. Come on up, David. Woohoo! Yeah, <laughs> you could smile a little bit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and our 2022 junior novice, Mike Crack, champion of seven man? wins, Trip Nap. Wait, watch, I think they're going to fall Is this the next class? Wait. Same class. Same.